Well, a warm welcome to the railway carriage here in Catrum. So glad that you could join me. You know, uh, we talked about having some night singing in the garden, sharing some song on the hill. And it's a little bit difficult these days. So here we are together tonight in this way instead. Some of us are watching on YouTube, some of us are streaming on uh, FaceTime, some of us are just down the road, round the corner, some of us are over in the Czech Republic, welcome if you're from there, or from Serbia, um, some in Russia, one or two, even one friend from Uzbekistan. So a warm welcome. I'm going to share with you just a few songs for the next hour. You're going to meet a couple of friends as well, and uh, we're going to think about some big things too. This first song. This song is also about, this time about buses, but I'm sitting in a bus station and I'm writing this song as, as people are, are coming past. And maybe one of you walked past as I was writing this song. And it speaks with a bit of ancient poetry in the chorus. Here it comes, it's called uh, Today. Thank you. 
frowning landscape of bombed out buildings in the downtown parade. Princess in the park, and everyone turns to smile at her. They smile at her, her joyful insistence to smell the orange flowers that grow between the paving, to point at the pigeon, to laugh at the old man who holds her hand. She's the princess. She's the princess in the park. She's the princess in the park. She's the princess in the park. I'd love to teach you um, a bit of Serbian, actually. Um, I've got a friend uh, called Stojce, who I want you to meet in a moment. But here's a word. Uh, it, it works not just in Serbian, but across the borders in Croatia and Bosnia, where there's a few people watching uh, tonight, too. And uh, this word is bush, bush. And it's, uh, it doesn't mean to hit something. It means really. So if you're really hungry, you say, oh, I've got some bush glava. Bosh some glavan. That means really, I'm so hungry. And uh, I wrote to Stoiche and said, Stoj, um, we've got this event, you know, it's going to be live. And uh, he wrote back to me last night and he said, uh, Andy, is it going to be Bosh live? Is it going to be really live? And uh, in the night, I thought, I know how I can prove to Stoiche that this isn't pre recorded, but it, that it is Bosh live, that we get him on the phone. So here he is, Stoiche. Uh, welcome. Where are you? Where are you uh, talking to us from, Stoiche? Yes, I'm from Serbia. I'm from my home right now, watching you bash bash life. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying with you saying like, thank you so much for doing this. Oh, it's, oh, it's great. great, Stoiche. So glad you can join us, Stoiche. Where are you from originally? I'm originally from Macedonia, but I'm living now as missionary in Serbia for ten years. I'm here living yeah. for ten years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Stoiche and I, are dear friends, we, we spent a year of our lives living in the same place, involved in the same project. So Stoiche, thanks so much for uh, for coming and uh, for being a part of tonight. So uh, and thanks for helping uh, with our Serbian as well. Thank you so much <laughs> for See you, you soon. For doing this. Thank you so much. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> you know, I want you to meet a few more friends in different places uh, tonight. Um, they can remember your first uh, Serbian word, bush, really. You know, uh, this, this next song, I've got to retune the guitar, but this next song, it's a, it's a story, it could be in any city, really. And uh, there's a guy, and he's uh, walking along, and perhaps a bit like in the song before, he's aware of the brokenness around him. But as he considers what's around him, he actually becomes more convinced and more and more convinced that it's not just out there that there's brokenness, but there's some brokenness right here, you know, in the soul. And uh, as he goes on through his journey in the city this day, he's walking down streets he's walked hundreds of times, but today it's like for the first time he realises how, you know, all the promise in the adverts, he's never got it, he's never felt it. Or he goes home and he watches the TV and he sees the events and the war and it kind of, it breaks his heart. And then he stares at himself in the mirror and he sees something of all of that in himself too. And then in the last verse, he sees something that he's perhaps seen hundreds of times in his life. But today, but it's like he sees it. And as he gazes at this, it kind of changes everything. The song's a kind of an old blues style song um, called Broken Man. This broken man, he stands before a billboard He stares at plastic perfection Beauty, life out of reach Life never known, there's a pang of loss As he 
averts his aching eyes. This broken man stands before a TV and he, and he stares at premeditated violence and war. Life is snatched by death, life stained by fear, and he, and he stifles unexplained guilt as he reaches farther remote. And in his heart he kneels, overwhelmed. Yes, in his heart he kneels. Who can rescue us now? This is broken man. And this broken man, he stands before a mirror. He stares at, he stares at who he really is. Life that slides by, life left behind, and he, he searches for a glory that perhaps was, was never there. And in his heart, he kneels, condemned. In his heart he kneels Who can rescue us now This, this broken man Far a wood to cross, and he stares at love come down and, and haunting graves. Life poured out, life exchanged the, the pierced hands of a god who reaches out, and something resonates deep, deep in his soul and in his heart he kneels. In his heart he kneels Before this crucified king Yes, he kneels With nothing to bring mm, He kneels Does he hear Does he hear heaven sing? Heaven sing for this. Does heaven sing for this? Does heaven sing for this? For this broken man. Well, again, a warm welcome if you're just joining us here in the railway carriage tonight. It's great that you can be here with us. Uh, Thank you for being here and listening to these songs and thinking about these big themes. You know, I sometimes watch a film that just impacts me, you know. Um, there's, a, there's a few people watching films these days. And uh, here's a recommendation for you. I, uh, I watched a film called Another Earth. And it's a film that is about this, it's a science fiction film. It's a kind of crazy science fiction film. And it's about this girl, I'm not spoiling it by telling you this, um, who, as the film begins, she's leaving a party and she's kind of gazing out of the window at this phenomenon that, that is rolling through this film all the way through. And as she gazes at it and stares at it, transfixed, she suddenly has this incredible car crash and it, it looks like she's killed a whole family. And, uh, well, inevitably she gets put in prison and uh, she comes out again, but... As the film kind of continues, we realise that what she's longing for, she's, she's longing for forgiveness. She's longing for somehow this burden of what she's done to be taken off of her shoulders. Um, I've lined up the film clip for you, um, like the trailer. And uh, so I hope you enjoy this. Here it comes. It's for another Earth. This is Dr. Joan Tallis, the United States Planet Earth. Do you read me? Is anyone out there? 
It's a moving, it's such a moving uh, film, isn't it? If, a moving trailer. Uh, and I, if you haven't seen it, I'd really recommend you, you, uh, you check it out. It's, a, it's an amazing film. It, the thing for me that really struck me was that I have got the same kind of problem. I haven't, you know, written off a family by a car crash. But, but you know, there's stuff in my heart that I wish somebody would take away, carry off, move out of the way, you know, like that broken man, there's kind of a brokenness that goes right into the centre of, of who I am too. And well, after I watched that film, it was Faye, my wife, who found it and said, come and see this. And uh, after I watched that film with her, I just, I wanted to write a song. And, uh, and this is the song I wrote. Um, it's called A Place. Is there a place where I could be far given? Is there a place where I could be free? Is there a place of no condemnation? Is there a place for someone like me? Is there a way my wrong? be passed over Is there a way to lose it in the deepest sea Is there a way that I watch ever on Is there a way for heaven to come to me I am the way I am the truth I am the life I am I am the way I am the truth I am the life I am I hear your voice and it whispers, whispers to me I hear your voice And it echoes in my soul I hear the voice of loving liberation 
I hear the voice of the one who waits to make me whole. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I am. I hear your voice. And it whispers. Whispers to me. that resonates with you at all um but that film resonated with me and that's what in inspired um me to write that, that song i think um i think you see i'm looking for a love that comes down because i realize that i'm not good enough or clean enough to to reach any good power or any goodness out there and uh, through my songs you know i think that you'll find that there's this deep meeting I first started writing songs when I when I was at school, and uh, and I wrote it for some mates because I'd been transfixed by this this message that there is a God who is there who we can be connected with. One time I was sitting on an aeroplane and uh, and I couldn't get my guitar out, and uh, so I instead um, tried to draw a picture. And here I'll, I'll stick it. We'll stick it over here, um, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. But um, this this picture is to try, try and describe really what the message of the bible is and it, it's it's a very simple picture but it begins with with that there's a god a god who is there and a god who is there and who has who is behind our existence and we could have some fantastic conversations about that and about process and how how is it that we're here but the beginning of the bible talks about a god who is there and who has brought us into existence but he hasn't just brought us into existence and then stood back to, to see what happens. No, instead, we've been made with this potential for relationship, for connection with him. And this relationship is really the very the core of, of what we've been made for, relationship with the God who is there. But the story of the Bible, the story of humanity as unfolded there, goes on to say this, that you and me, our ancestors, made a decision, a decision that has resonated on through history, where we've said, God, it's all right, actually, I'm going to be in charge, you just step out of it, I'm going to be in charge of my own life, my own story. And of course, that breaks that relationship that we're made to know. And that's why it is, perhaps, that there is this sense of beauty and wonder about the world, because there's still hints of this potential for connection with the transcendent where it all began but also there's this utter sense of brokenness too and that should be the end of the story really but it's not the end of the story because the message of the bible is that god steps into history in the person of jesus and that as he walks among us he tells the most glorious stories and he takes broken things and makes them unbroken he takes the hungry and he feeds them and he even takes the dead and rises them to life i'm talking about jesus but jesus didn't just come and tell good stories and and feed people and make people better but jesus he, he went to a cross and when he died on that cross it's this cross a symbol of which that that broken man saw in our earlier song but when he dies on that cross, it's not to just demonstrate how people can suffer without making too much of a fuss. It's much more than that. It's Jesus, God, here, taking the wrongness that humanity has marking their souls and has cutting them off from that relationship. It's Jesus taking it in our place like a swap, an exchange. And Jesus dies and he rises from the dead. Uh, a, a, an event that can be tested in history and examined. And then he claims that his death and resurrection can bring forgiveness and cleaning and can bring us back into relationship with the God we're made to know. But it doesn't happen automatically just because Jesus died back then. There's a, a call on our lives. That's why that very first song was, they were words of Jesus actually, 
He says, come to me and I will give you rest. Or that second song, today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Because the message of Jesus calls for a response that we would step towards him. And But as we step towards him, the relationship is restored. And that relationship is put as it's meant to be. And we're drawn into the relationship with the God that we're made to know. It was quite a long plane journey. <laughs> so I had time to get that ready and to show it to my new friend sitting next to me. And I've shown it a few times since then to uh, try and explain what the message of the Bible is in a, in a, in a quick overview. You know, this, this next song, it, it talks about a love that comes down. Uh, it talks about a lavish love. I love the word lavish. It's kind of that generous, pouring out kind of love. And that is the kind of love that the, that the Bible speaks about God having for each of us, not just one or two, but all of us, all of humanity, a lavish love. But a lavish love comes to the extreme lengths of even going to die on a cross. <laughs> Drives out fear, lavish love embracing me. Lavish, lavish love, adopting love that calls you child, adopting love pure undefined. Love, lavish love, lavish, lavish love. 
well. well I, don't know, I don't know if you have experienced that kind of lavish love. A love that drops a love that changes everything. Well, you know, I've got a friend who is called Michael, and uh, he is married to a girl called Rebecca, and here they are joining us uh, tonight. Um, so welcome, Michael and Rebecca. I wanted them to... Hi, great. Thanks for coming to the railway carriage. Michael, you've actually been in here, haven't you? <laughs> great. Thank you, Rebecca. Great atmosphere. Oh, well, well, thanks for being a part of it. You know, um, it was Michael who said, yeah, Andy, you should do something from the Railway Carriage Studio for some of your mates. So, uh, And for some of your mates, Michael. So one or two of your friends here tonight, Michael? Yeah, I think a few people have, have logged in. Great. 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 Oh, well, thank you so much um, for the idea. You know, a few days ago, Michael, you were talking about something that really, um, really hit me. Um, you were describing something that Francis Schaeffer had said about humanity. Yeah, so I was basically saying, as we look at our world, we see, I think, as you've been singing about already, both beauty and brokenness. And he described the world as this glorious ruin. Um, like when you look at a castle or some amazing building, there's still like remnants of beauty and yet you can see that something's gone wrong and we kind of have that sense when we look at our world it's a beautiful place and yet we can sense that something's gone wrong with it too yeah 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 well thank you do you know at the end of tonight we've got a uh, a page that you can go to and have a look at and if you want to have a listen to what michael says it's a really interesting conversation and uh, i'll give you the link at the end of the night but rebecca what were you doing in uh in January this year? Well, I was uh, I was getting married to this man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and we were in beautiful. a very different, uh, different world to what we're in now. It's, uh, it seemed a long time ago, but it wasn't really a long time ago. It was only yeah, really yeah. a couple of months ago, but it seemed a whole world away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. well it was a beautiful event. And uh, yeah, it really was special. And it was a lot, a lot of probably a few of the folks watching today, tonight were, were there too. And um, you, you asked me to sing a song and uh, I've actually dropped something in the studio here. So I've got to bounce, crouch down and try and pick it up without crashing everything over. Here we go. There we go. So my little capo. And uh, this, this is called Wedding Song. And uh, so in a Scottish uh, church that looked a bit like a castle, um, just before your reception where everything was in tartan uh, all the carpets and all sorts of um, um, I shared this song so thanks for joining us and uh, I'll sing it to you again Sacrifice. 
sacrifice, Lord, come down. Love divine, the love divine, love come down. What God has joined together, let man not separate. What God has joined together, may we celebrate, yeah, celebrate. guitarists. Um, I'm using one of those little half capos and uh, I've been having some fun with that. So that's why that song sounds a little bit like a mandolin. Well, I'm going to sing just a just a handful of songs before we uh, wind up the evening. Just uh, three more songs before we uh, close. Thanks so much for being here and a part of the, uh, of the railway carriage sessions. You know, um, I sometimes play uh, in the street um, not so much these days uh, while we've got this strange situation. I sometimes uh, play in schools or universities, bars, theatres. One time I was pr playing in a prison and I played a few times in prisons. Uh, I was uh, talking uh, the songs rather like uh, tonight. And as I was uh, talking, there was this guy staring at me through the, through the event. And at the end, he got up and he walked towards me, quite a determined look on his face. And as he got close... He began to tell me his story. You know, he had written part of the Bible, part of the New Testament, just a few days before. And in his cell, he had, he had read through it. And there he had seen the kind of Jesus that we've been talking about tonight. The kind of Jesus who is God come to us. Come into the midst of the brokenness to break the brokenness by going to die on a cross. And this guy realised came to that realisation that, that his wrongness could be taken away. And he knelt down in his cell and he said to God this, he said something along these lines, God, look, I, I, I'm sorry for the wrong things I've done, the ways I've been pushing you out of my life. Thank you that you've come to me, a love that comes down. You've come to me to die on that cross in my place. So please, be my rescuer, be my king. And he told me this story, and as uh, we'd just finished this event, there was a band, there were four guys playing with me that day. And then suddenly, there was this kind of instruction, barked out, you know, everyone's got to go back to the wings. And this guy, just on automatic, turned on his heel and started walking away. And I was just like, wow, what a story. And uh, But then suddenly, just a few paces away, he stopped, and he looked back over his shoulder, and he spoke to me, and he goes, Andy, listen, I know I'm inside, I know I'm in prison, I know I'm inside, but since I've met Jesus, I've never been so free. And with that, he turned again and he disappeared. There's some ancient prophetic poetry that points towards a king who would come. And this king who would come would be a kind of king who, who, who set prisoners free, who made the blind people see. He made the people who couldn't talk, talk, and people who couldn't walk, walk. And, of course, I think you might what his name is, but it was because of his interaction with that guy in prison that that guy in prison experienced the freedom that, that changed everything. So after meeting him, uh, I wrote this next song. He sets the prisoner free. He makes the blood. He makes the dumb talk, lets the lame walk. His name is, his name is, in our world filled with shame, in our world marked with pain, in our world where we just fall down again. 
He sets the prisoner free. He makes the blind see. He makes the dumb talk. Let's the lame walk. His name is. His name is. We long for justice, but fear it's coming. We long for peace, then go out to war. We long for a savior. We cry in the darkness, but we turn away from his nail-pierced hands. There'll be a day of glory. There'll be a day of majesty. There'll be a day when Every eye, every eye will see. He sets the prisoner free. He makes the blind see. He makes the dumb talk. Let's the lame walk. His name is. His name is. His name is. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. You know, at the end of this event tonight, um, at about at nine o'clock UK times, about one in the morning in Russia um, and various other times in between. But after we finish, um, I'm going to uh, just put a link up and uh, and there, if you want to, you can connect with some other people. It's quite exciting, actually. Um, there's a friend called Tom uh, and he's based in Prague and he's invited a few mates to come. So if you're in the Czech Republic tonight, then um, there'll be a link that you can click on and uh, go and have a chat with a few others who have been in for this in this event tonight and have a talk about the things we've talked about and talk about it in your heart language, you know, talk about it in the Czech language. That'd be great. And um, for those who are in um, Serbia, um, well, there's a, an email there for uh, Mariana and Samuel, and they'll be really glad to send you a new book. There's a book that's just come out by John Lennox that is about this current situation. And if you just um, pop them a note, um, they'll post you um, that book along with an account of Jesus' life, Mark's Gospel, um, and they'll send it to you. Um, then if you're over in, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, then uh, Lilia is there and ready to uh, also um, send you some, some, um, some books and start a conversation about these big things. There's, there's links uh, and I'll send them, I'll show them to you in a few minutes time. But it'd be great to keep on thinking about uh, these big things. We can also chat on Facebook about these things and have some chat underneath the YouTube uh, stream as well. But these are the biggest things, actually, that we could be talking about, aren't they? In a minute, I want to introduce you to one more friend. Uh, his name is Dan. But uh, I want to sing you another song um, first. Uh, this song is uh, another half capo song. Another drop D song. One time I was busking and I I lost the pick inside the guitar. And as I tried to pull it out and shake my guitar and get the pick out, by the time I finished, I had a bigger crowd. The crowd had doubled. set you free May you find the one you seek May you hear his voice Whisper out Whisper
take my old color from me for I am humble and gentle of heart and your fine rest rest for your soul your fine rest rest for your soul Your fine rest for your soul May you see his hands and his pierced feet May you see the thorns and weeds share just one more song with you tonight and uh, before I do I'd like to introduce you to uh, to another friend uh, his name is Dan uh, and he lives just around the corner he's my neighbor really it's just uh, a few houses away uh, Dan thanks for joining us in the railway carriage studio oh thanks Andy thanks it's been, it's been amazing this evening thank you for, oh, for oh. playing your music it's been fantastic oh, it's, been, oh, lovely. it's been lovely to be able to share it with you and, and a few other friends too but Dan I, I wanted to get you on because I actually um, contacted everybody in my road and um, because we've talked sometimes about sharing music and um, and somehow you know it's so hard to actually in normal time do that and so this strange time of lockdown has, has perhaps given this opportunity but just like singing songs for my mates at school um, and singing them in the streets and some of the places that we've mentioned tonight 
the songs I really want to point to this person, Jesus. And you're running something really brilliant starting on Tuesday, Danny. Uh, could you tell us about it? Yeah, thanks, Andy. So we're on Tuesday evening at 7.30. We're running a Christian Explored event. Uh, normally, we would, we would do that and we would have an opportunity to meet together in person uh, here at the, the church building. But uh, with everything going on, uh, we decided to use uh, the opportunity of Zoom uh, and for us to meet using that. And Christianity Explored is, is really an opportunity to, to discover more about, I guess, what we've been hearing throughout this evening, the message of Jesus. And what I love about it is that it says it's the best news we could ever hear. And, uh, and I know that at this time, at this moment, I long to hear some good news. And well, this Christianity Explored event is really an opportunity to discover the best news uh, that we could ever hear. And the news it says is about this person, Jesus. And so during these five weeks, these five Tuesday evenings, we, we're going to be looking through an account, a biography of, of Jesus's life, the book of Mark found in the Bible. And we discover and we explore uh, who this Jesus is, uh, what he's uh, done and what that means for us today because uh, this is news for everybody uh, and it's the best news that we could hear and so this event is really an opportunity for people to come with questions um, to come with uncertainties um, and to bring that and hopefully over the course of our evening uh, we discover uh, this incredible news about uh, this extraordinary person Jesus together. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, thanks, oh, for, thanks joining. for joining us, to invite us. So again, uh, in a minute, there'll be links up and uh, you can uh, click on a link and, uh, and find out more about that. And particularly for people in the UK, particularly for people in, uh, in this little town, but further afield as well. And we've already mentioned about um, the, the opportunities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, in uh, Serbia, um, over in the Czech Republic too, uh, where you can connect up with different people um, and it'd be great to keep on thinking about these big things. Thanks, Dan. You know, you know, um, one, one more person I'd love you to meet, but you're not going to be able to see him, I think, tonight. But his name is, uh, is Dowie. Dowie is a genius who lives in Wales, in Cardiff. And uh, he has been doing all the tech um, tonight. So Dowie, from all of us uh, tonight, thank you so much for running this event and running it so well. It's been a... Uh, Great to share this with you, Dowie, and uh, we appreciate it enormously. Um, also, um, on this kind of follow-up um, page that I'll put up on the moment as we finish, um, there's the opportunity just to pop your address in if you're in the UK. And uh, we've got another friend called John Lennox, mentioned him already, um, who's written this brilliant book. And it's short um, and, and pithy, and it's about this current situation, that, and, and it's inspiring to read you know, about God and the coronavirus. What a strange combination. But it's actually a really inspiring um, book uh, to read. So we'd love to post that to you, anyone in the UK. Um, and uh, we'll send it to you with also a biography of Jesus' life. And so on this kind of page up in a minute, um, you'll be able to just put your address in if you'd like that. And we'll just stick it in the post and get to you in the next few days. But we'll keep on chatting for all these different channels. But thanks so much for being a part of this event tonight. It's been uh, lovely to share it with you. I'm going to uh, sing you just one last song. And uh, this song, it's, it echoes again with some ancient, ancient poetic prophecy. It speaks about one who is called a prince of peace. And uh, it's speaking, it's speaking about Jesus. And uh, this ancient piece of poetry it says that there's a king who's going to come who's going to bring peace. And there's a king who's going to come and he's going to bring peace, but he's going to bring it by him being broken. You know, there's all these opportunities to, to keep on thinking about these things, but it, it might be that even tonight you're thinking wherever you are. But to be honest, I, I get it. You know, um, I really am convinced there is a God who is there, that Jesus really is God come here. And, and I want to respond. And just like my friend in the prison, really, God just, he invites us to come to him and say, sorry, I'm going to stop trying to 
arrogantly think I can get to you by myself and I'm sorry for all the wrong things that I've done. Please forgive me on the basis of what Jesus has done in dying on the cross. Thank you for your lavish love, that love that pours out. And if tonight perhaps you want to just close your eyes and speak to God and say those words and invite him to be of your life. Say that you want your life to be oriented around him now and trusting that Jesus can take away your wrongness. And if you are responding in that way, well, bang a little message as well. We'd love to hear that and uh, to connect you up with some people who would help you to start to keep growing in this new walk. So this song, last song, it's called Prince of Peace. There's a whispering, rumours in the west and in the east, about some future feast, when all that's bitter becomes sweet. There's a growing song that echoes in the bars and in the streets, a rhythm far the greatest to the least. Something about a prince of peace And for us Walking in darkness Is a dawning light Yeah, for us Walking in darkness It's breaking bright Some say a day will come Secret silent as a thief of all glory and relief when time itself is complete when the clamoring violence pain and wars are ceased the shackled and the broken are released they say it's something about prince of peace and for us walking in the Peace. Mm -hmm. He'll be called the Prince of 